Ian here. It's Jen, right? Yes, sir. Please, call me Ian. I was just getting set up for our next stop. Sir, Ian, I just wanted to discuss how it went out there. You know, I don't think it was my best performance. I thought you were fine. Well, defensive operations aren't my strong suit. I'm more comfortable in the attack. I'm a very capable mech warrior, and if you check my dossier, I think you'll find that my record reflects that. Anyway, it was an honor to fight with you, sir. I really believe in what we're doing. Thanks, Jen. Sorry, I've got another message coming in. Yes? The flight crew tells me that we're on track for a successful polar deorbit. Your uncle won't risk communications while in flight, but he'll contact us once we're both down. What are the plans for our first planet-side operation? Peter and I chose to hit the SpySat Launch and Control Facility on the Elysium Tundra. The satellite network provides Roland with worldwide reconnaissance. We should be able to evade detection for a while, but inevitably he'll pick us up. Once he does, he can track our every move. So, we intend to use his own toys against him. We hit a number of outlying facilities to stall a counterattack. Then we launch an assault on the satellite control station. We don't destroy it, we capture it. Peter's bringing in some of Carl's former colleagues, engineers who can aid us in taking over the station. Once we have control, we can use the satellites to identify Steiner targets and track troop movements. Sounds good. Before we set down, you'll have to scout out the area near our drop site. If any patrols identify our drop location, we're dead. We'll hot drop you prior to setting down. I recommend you keep your recon lens small to avoid detection, but that's your call. I'll upload the tactical overview for the rest of the op by the time you get back. Hopefully, Peter will have contacted us by then. Be sure and check your Lancemate roster and get me your picks for the mission as soon as possible. All right. I'll get us set up for the drop. Our equipment seems to have handled the trip just fine, young Dressari. I just wish there was a bit more of it. There should be good supplies for salvage here on the Tundra. Even some heavier chassis. We could use them. Agreed. Heat management shouldn't be much of a problem in this environment, but it will be more of a factor than on the moon. Since the enemy will be more formidable here, you'll want to use surprise in your tactics. Perhaps some long-range weapons in your loadout specifications. Also, speed will be more of a factor, particularly in this terrain. Faster mechs can handle the steeper slopes more effectively. I'll keep that in mind. A piece of advice, young Grisari. Balance your landsmate's loadout with your own. You want to fight as a coordinated whole, not as a collection of mismatched single combatants. Once you've specified the mech configurations you'll be using, I'll get them set up as quickly as possible. Good luck. Sir? Yes, Casey? I notice we've been encountering a lot of smaller combatants. I tend to try to take those targets out at longer range since their weapons are often range limited. Prudent. When I'm on Lance, I'd like you to consider me your official sniper, sir. Okay, maybe not official, but I'd like to be outfitted for longer range engagements. It's a tactic I use a lot and heartily recommend. When possible, I'll try to arrange for you to be appropriately outfitted for that role. Thanks, sir. I'd also recommend that we all try to use it to our full advantage. I suspect we're going to be encountering a lot of smaller craft in this environment. Even against mechs, you can do a lot of damage with long-range sniping. Particularly if you're not in a hurry. All right, Casey. I'll try to remember that. And encourage the rest of the team to use it when appropriate. Okay. Oh, so the, these are the skills of the, of the lance mates. Okay, your gunnery skill is low, girl. Piloting skill is high. Sensor skill is very high. I don't know what sensor skill would mean. Blind fighting. Okay. I think this is the dude who wanted to do long range stuff. We can we could probably accommodate him. Um Um this mech is good except I think I messed up the um 
the weapons uh, grouping. Um, Ian here. Okay, so these groupings have got to change. Um, okay, this is what we want. We want the two LRM-10s on their own group, and then all of the lasers on their own group. I'm going to slow him down a bit. Gauss rifle, I don't think will fit, or even a light Gauss rifle. An AC-5 would fit, and it is long range. So would a Clan Ultra AC-2. Long-range missiles for this guy. I like these uh, hard points. And then we can just give him two medium lasers. Health spawn three. Can we take off the jump jets? We can't. Give him three heat sinks instead. I mean, heat efficiency, look at how high it is. Can we increase the armor at all? A little bit. do the grouping that way.
All right, let's try it. Watch that first step. Control, this is Omega lead. We're down. I'm down. All systems nominal. Roger, Omega lead. We're preparing for touchdown. We know Steiner's running patrols out here, so scout all NAS points and neutralize any units you encounter. We can't risk being discovered. Roger, Control. Sweep and destroy. En route to Nav Point Alpha. There we go. Okay, now I can turn with the keyboard. Take out designated target. That's a Roger. Helicopters. It's another helicopter. Can I get a lock? Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Okay. Let's see if we got rid of all the helicopters. That looks like a little tank out there. Over the hill, I assume. Oh, something's closer. This mech is hard to hit. Target 
Oh, I got him. Okay. All right. Take out designated target. Copy that. I need to get to that Time bulldog now. Salvage. Take out designated target. That's a Roger. All right, let's get to that next raven. And it takes longer than Mech Warrior 2 to take out mechs. Scratch that target. Okay. Casey here. Looks like some kind of resupply outpost. Control, we've got some kind of small outpost here. Roger, Omega Need. Probably a recon base. Take out any defenses and mobile units. Affirmative control. In progress. Come on, get to this guy. What is he doing? Tanks are all here.
So many tanks. Gosh, is there anything else? I'm not seeing any more enemies on radar for the moment. My lance mate is messed up right now. At least I can control myself a bit better. Look at him. He's taking a lot of damage. He's really black. Okay. No cat. Oh, now there's an enemy on radar. Another bulldog. That's th those tanks we've been destroying. Oh, man. Bulldog. Oh, we got turrets. Nav point beta reached. Warning. Damage critical. Target destroyed. Go take on these bulldogs here. Target destroyed. Scope. I think that's it. Roger, Omega Lead. We confirmed that. We're touching down. Confirmed. As soon as we're down, I'll have the salvage team sweep the area and see what they can recover. Control out. Omega, be advised. Steiner's elite units are deployed in this area, so you may have some tougher fights. Okay. Pretty easy so far. We're on the ground. Oh, we got the cougar that I guess we destroyed. 